Welcome to a quick video about library databases from UNC Greensboro, UNCG University Libraries. This is on library databases getting started. If you go to the description of this YouTube video, you will see a link out to this presentation, which includes hyperlinks out to the resources mentioned within this presentation. A database is a searchable collection of information sources. The library has many databases. Some contain only articles, while others have articles, data, images, and videos. So why should you use library databases? Databases tend to have a lot of scholarly articles specific to topics you are researching, which can be useful for a class assignment in terms of narrowing down your results and finding scholarly resources on a topic. EBSCO Sport Discus is a database focused on sports exercise, so it can be great if you are researching something to do with sports or exercise. ProQuest Education Database is just one of many databases focused on education resources, so it can provide resources on anything to do with schools, colleges, courses, and more. How do I access library databases? Part of your student fees at UNCG go towards the library purchasing materials, but content and databases are free to use through your UNCG login. Be sure to go through UNCG Libraries webpage and UNCG Research Guides, or sometimes referred to as LibGuides. We have these for courses or your subject. Library Research Guides, Research Guides, or Course Guides have links for you to find databases that are useful to your discipline. You can usually find databases under the Finding Articles or Finding Resources tab on your subject or course guide. You can also access all databases and our most popular databases through the database link on the library homepage. How do I search in databases? Databases work best with keywords of your search rather than natural language processing. Google handles natural language searching well, but library databases and catalogs require structured keywords. It's best to avoid words that describe the relationship between two concepts like effect, effects, impacts, influence, consequence, cause, interaction, etc. It's also good to avoid words that imply an argument like pros, cons, advantages, disadvantages, and more. From a database, you can use keywords, natural language processing will not work, to search. You will usually get less results than a Google search with many scholarly options. Library databases also give you more options than Google or even Google Scholar for filters or limiters, including source types such as peer review, dates, and more. Keywords can help you keep searching on the topic, and the abstract can help you decide whether you should read the whole article. Be sure to look for the full text or PDF within the article entry. When you find an article or resource you like, you can get a permalink to find the article again and get a citation of the article, both on the right-hand side. This tutorial covers one database in the EBSCO and ProQuest group, but remember there are many different databases based on your subject. Many of the same concepts covered apply to different databases, but remember to consult your librarian. Remember to try different databases. The research process is not a straight line. You will need to go back and adapt your research questions and keywords as you search. Be sure to check out the University Libraries Tutorials for Research Assistants, ULTRA, suite of tutorials to learn more about the research process of picking and developing a topic, finding evidence, evaluating evidence, and integrating and citing sources. How can UNCG Libraries help? Always remember to chat us if you have any issues. The library chat is open until 11.45 p.m. Sunday through Thursday and during the day on Friday and Saturday in the fall and spring semesters.